What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Libero Cinerace team alongside with Life Orb Landris and Slush Rush Arthazol. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. I cannot thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. I know I say that a lot, but it really does go a long way. Everybody who likes the videos, tunes in and watches them, and everybody who has subscribed to the channel. But getting started with this team, top left corner, we have one of my favorite ice type Pokemon, and that is Vanellix over here. We got Snow Warning as his ability to get that hail started, and the item of choice is going to be the choice scarf for this Pokemon. We got Freeze Dry, Blizzard, Icy Wind, and Aurora Bell for his moveset. All ice moves, all stab, everything's going to be great. We got Arctazolt right next to him to pair up well with it. It's going to double its speed in that hail, and it's also holding that choice band so we can hit like a truck with this Pokemon. We got Stone Edge and Low Kick, both for our coverage moves, and then for stab, we have Icicle Crash and Bulk Beak. Middle left, we got Cinderace, Light Barrel with that White Herb, so if he gets intimidated or his stats change, she's going to go back to normal. This thing's an absolute monster. We're probably going to be Dynamaxing him a lot or bringing him in most battles. Every move is stab. We got High Jump Kick, Pyro Ball, Bounce, and Protect as a final move, a fairly normal move set for a Cinderace. Right next to him is a Pokemon that I really never use. It is Landorus Life Orb, but it's in the other form that no one really uses. This thing has Sheer Force, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball to go with that Hail, and Protect. I feel like this thing's going to be a beast, and he's going to be brought out a lot in this video. Bottom left is a Pokemon that is amazing. I love him so much, and he doesn't get the love he deserves. We got Chandelure in the bottom left. I used to use him all the time, but ever since like new Pokemon come in, he's just been taking a seat on the back end. Flash Fire, Focus Sash, we can imprison the Trick Room with it, and then our stab moves are Shadow Ball and Heat Wave. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Grimmsnarl with the Prankster ability, Roselli Berry, and then we got Fake Out for Flinches, Spirit Break for Stab and Special Attack Drop, Scary Face for Speed Drop, and Sucker Punch for First Turn Priority Stab Move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you want to check out any of these stats or EVs, the Poke Paste is down in the description below. But let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Landers and Slush Rush Arthur's old team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming off that perfect record from our last video, and your boy's been on a tear as of recently. Winning a lot of battles, getting winning records in most of our videos, so hopefully we can keep that streak rolling here. But before we get started with battle number one, I want you guys to let me know for question of the day. Will you guys be getting Pokemon Unite, and would you guys like to see videos slash streams on Pokemon Unite from me? Because... That game looks amazing. I cannot wait to get after it. I feel like I'm going to be grinding a lot, and I know I need to bring streams back. I got caught up with a, with a lot of stuff, a lot of my priorities, school, work, all that good stuff. So streams have been taking a, a seat in the back end, but I really do want to bring them back. So let me know in the comment section down below, would you guys like to see videos slash streams on Pokemon Unite? But we're hopping into battle number one. We're going up against a Mudsdale team over here. Okay. Okay, I see you. Um, Who do I want to go into? How do I really want to do this? I kind of want to go into... Benelux, get that rain started, maybe pop an Aurora Veil. Could go Arctazolt, maybe try to get like a, a free KO. Bring Landorus out here as back end, and then Cinderace as our final spot. He doesn't have Trick Room, so I don't need to imprison it. So I'm kind of fine with all this. Just bringing out heavy hitters and rolling out after us trying to get ourselves the first win. I think that's a decent play. Because I don't even have to Dynamax my uh, Arctazolt. I'm just going to bring him in at, at that front end. He has that choice ban. I can hit somebody with a hard stab move and do a lot of damage. So that's what I'm hoping for. And then eventually get like Cinderace or Landorus in the back end. Bring him out front and then Dynamax them and complete this battle and get that win. That's the plan. Hopefully we can get it rolling there. But it goes Mudsdale and Mr. Mine. Oh, Jeans is fine with that. Your boy's fine with that one. He's been having a blast playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. Got a bunch of teams lined up for you guys. Got some good ones. Cannot wait to show them all for you guys. And we're almost on Pokemon Snap, so good thing Pokemon Unite does come out soon. I'm definitely thinking about doing videos on it. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But I could drop an Aurora Bell easily. I could just go into a straight Blizzard, which I might do. Actually, might not. I think I'm just going to drop an Aurora Bell. And I think I'm just going to Icicle Crash. We should be able to outspeed Mudsdale and roll after that strong. Let's see what he does. Or is he going to trick him? He might trick him. Let's see what this dude does. I am Choice Scarf with the Vanilla, which kind of stinks. Maybe I should have went into a Blizzard. But she's going to end up Dynamaxing the Mudsdale. Let's see what his play is. Let's see what his play is. I know he's not outspeeding me. We know that for a fact. He could guard and then go into a, uh, a Trick Room. That would be smart. But let's just see the play coming out from him. I really wish this Vanilla wasn't Scarf. I feel like that's the only thing that I don't like. Let's see what he does. He's going to fake me out. 
I'm gonna fake out Ben Elks, which is totally fine. I'm gonna see how much damage we can actually do onto this thing. I still crash pops through. And dang, yo, you better guard up next turn. You better guard up next turn. There goes the steel spike for the defensive boost. I'm totally fine with that. It's gonna go down here. I mean, I wish we did get off that roar veil, but yo, know, that's okay. It's alright, it happens. It happens. There's big defense boost, and I'm going to bring out Landers. I'm gonna bring out Landers here. But I think Landers can actually KO with a uh, with this uh weather ball. Actually, I'm choice bandit. I might as well go into a uh an icicle crash. Let's just bring out Landers. He can't drop a rock, but then he can drop a rock on both my Pokemon. To be Dynamax Incineries. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? Cause he, can, I don't want him dropping a rock on me. I can change my typing. I could get an attack boost. That could be decent. Let's swap. Alright, let's swap here. I might just save my Dynamax, to be honest with you guys. I'm thinking I'm just going to save my... Uh... I think I'm just going to watch. I think I'm just going to bounce here. And Icicle Crash over on the U. I think it's going to be play. I think Mudsdale is going to try to drop a rock on the Cinderace. Right? I can totally see that coming. I can totally see that happening. He's going to withdraw the Mudsdale. Okay, I'm totally fine by that. All right, let's bounce out of here. We're going to save our Dynamax. So he's done with his Dynamax service, and he's going to go into Grimstone. Which, I mean, I'm fine with that. He has another fake out coming out here. He could set up a Reflect. I took a Crash. Misses. What you mean? What you mean it misses? Get out of my face. We changed typing. Okay, we're out of here. Dang, dude, our Icicle Crash really missed. He's going to drop a Trick Room. Okay. The Trick Room's out and about. That's fine. Um, He's probably going to fake out now. We got ourselves a good battle. He's going to try to get back out that Mudzell in a little bit just so he has speed. But then he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a Dynamax. We're just saving it. We're going to try to waste out some Trick Room turns and roll off from there. Right, let's just see what happens. We got all stab coming through here. I feel like this uh this Grimstone is gonna set up a reflect. Or no, he's probably gonna fake me out, right? Fake out my Arctozolt. Let's just see his play. Arctozolt's a beast. He's gonna, okay, he's gonna withdraw the mime. The mime's gonna get the withdrawal. But the Mudsail's gonna have to take this flying move right here. Without a defense boost anymore. He's not boosted on defense because he swapped out. Reflect is setting up. Okay, so there's the reflect. Hmm. I might have to double double down onto this mud sale after this. Bounce comes through. And KO? Oh, we get that para though. We do get the para. That's a big para. Ice crash comes through and it does connect. Thank you, Ice Crash. Thank you. How much damage are we doing? That thing's able to eat up just fine. Buffets might take out mud sale. Do it. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Big KO from us there. That pretty much is gonna solidify this match. It's gonna solidify it. That's gonna be GG's, right? Pretty much. Pretty much your boy's rolling here. Let's see who he's going to throw out. Is he going to throw out the Mime again to get another fake out? Probably. That is probably going to be the play. And again, we still have Sheer, sheer Force Boy in the back. Looking real good, yo. Your boy's been buzzing, yo. Hope you guys are enjoying all this content. Oh, and he cleans off his own screen. That is great. He cleans off his own screen. I am going to hit this Mr. Mime right here. He's probably going to go into another Reflect. We have two physical attackers up here. Fake out into Reflect, right? Let's see. There's the fake out. That's totally fine. Reflect popping again. Nope, just a straight spear break. Which Zol should be able to eat up, right? Yeah, all day. Gets a special attack drop. Gets a crit too. Get out of my face. But we're physical attacking. And no more ref Reflect. So can we connect with this? We do indeed. I took a crash coming in hot, yo. Dude, this thing's hitting like a truck. Gotta love it. This might KO, right? Yep, get it out of here. Reflect's gone. You cleaned it off, yo, dude. That's gonna be GG's. Because once this Pyro Ball comes flying through here, it's doing massive damage over onto the Mime slot. Oh my lord, why? Like, just for some reason, ever since they switched, uh, switched series, like, took out the Legendaries, I've just been playing crazy good. Crazy good. I'm gonna go here. He might Sucker Punch me, but I am still gonna hit him with an Icicle Crash. <laughs> doing good amount of damage, and this thing is a, is a softy. So I think with this, uh, oh, he's gonna detect, it's totally fine. I was gonna say, I think with this Icicle Crash and this, uh, this what's called, we should be able to pick up the KO. The buff, it's a nice crash. But he Ice Shards onto me. That's easy eats, baby. Power Ball comes through. I thought we missed, because it, like, like stuttered a little bit, but it's just a Libero change. 
And this is gonna do big damage. If he's not sash, he's dead. Let's see. Get him out of here. Get this dude gone. You see how quick that HP bar drop is like, you know, gone. Ice and Crash comes through. And are we gonna win without Dynamaxing? No way. No way we win without Dynamaxing. That's how good we are. We're nasty. Uh, did Trick Room end? That's my question. So there's one more turn left in Trick Room, and that might make one of my Pokemon faster. Probably, maybe just uh, Arcto's ult. Let's see what happens here. Here goes Sucker Punch. That's really fine. Eat this up. Eat it. You go down. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We're sending this Pyro Ball this way. This should bring him down to maybe Sash. Maybe not. This thing is really squishy. Let's see. Nope. Still does a decent amount of damage. And now we 100% outspeed. We're going to bring out Landorus. And I'm not even going to Dynamax. I'm not going to Dynamax. I want to win this game without Dynamax. <laughs> I want to win this one without Dynamaxing. All right, Power Ball coming out, and we're just going to go for an Earth Power. Could just stab right into him. And he's probably going to cancel, though, right? No cancel or no Sucker Punch. Get him out of here. Get this dude out my game. Get him out of here. Winning our first match without a Dynamax. Getting this video started at 1-0. We can now hop into our second. Let's get a win streak rolling. Run this next battle, ladies and gentlemen. Run it. Your boy's been tearing through people left and right. I'm ready for battle number two. We're going up against a Metagross team right here alongside with Dragapult, Incineroar, Sylveon, Celestia, and Thunderous over here. Okay. Um, he doesn't have Trick Room. He's not going to set it up. So, Chandelor, you're not coming in here again. I love that Pokemon, but he's basically on this team just to imprison Trick Room and go out from there. Um, I can go in with the Zolt and the Vanellix. Again, that's not a bad call. I might just bring the exact team. I might just bring that exact team because it seems like it's going to work really, really well up against all these guys. So I said we do that. He does have Intimidate, which could be which could be a little scary. I'm not even going to lie. Which could which could be a little a little scary for us, but I think we'll be fine with all this. I really just see this team and this four right here just overpowering these guys. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a win. Go back to back with uh with our wins and. Uh, get ourselves a winning record here. It will, I can't even think of the word. It will like solidify the winning record if we win this one. Then we won't have to worry about battle number three, even though we'll have a chance to go for that perfect record. But this battle matters more. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go into... Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so he goes into Thunderous and Dragapult. I wonder what, what he's trying to do here. And our ice is looking real spiffy here. Our ice is looking real spiffy. I don't even think I'm going to set up an Aurora Veil. I think I'm just going to go straight into a Blizzard. I feel like Blizzard's going to be the play. Lizardo. I still crash. Look at this. Bang, bang. Who, who are we going after? I said we go after you because I can totally see a, uh, a Phantom Force coming out here. And I am going to Blizzard. Or I can just Icy Wind. Drop the speeds. Speed drop would be nice. We're going to go for the speed drop instead. We are going to go for the speed drop. I, maybe I should have went for a Blizzard. It is 100% hitting here. And I know Vanellix is going to outspeed everybody considering he is Choice Scarf, but... I think this is going to help out my Arctozolt by slowing down these Pokemon. Let's just see what he goes into. He's going to protect. There's protect from Dragapult. Good thing I Icicle Crash onto the other slot. And let's see what happens here. An Eerie Impulse is going to drop. That's totally fine. He's just going to slow you guys down. And I'm going to drop you out of here. If my Icicle Crash lands, we're going to get rid of Thunderous easily. Ice Wind pops out here. Protect from the Pult. And here goes this. So that's a support. Uh, that's a support Thunderous right there. And we're not going to do a lot of damage, considering we're at minus two. But there's a lovely little speed drop. I still crash can pop. So good thing we actually did go into the icy one, because Blizzard would have did nothing. But at least we're getting some speed drops. I still crash comes through. Choice ban, stab, in that hail. Get this Pokemon out of my face, dude. Arctozole is buzzing right now. He is getting after it. Dragapult takes a buffet, so if he was Sash, it's gone. But I think the uh, the Thunderous uh, had the Sash. What's he going to throw out from here? He's going to throw out Incineroar. Get that Intimidate. That's totally fine. We're going to start slowing him down. And I'm just going to drop an Ice Crash onto the, uh, the Dragon Pult slot. The Poltski slot. Let's see. Ice Crash. I think Vanellix should be able to outspeed here. Right? I'm thinking Vanellix should be able to outspeed. So if I can get off this Icy Wind, our Ice Crash can come before the Dragon Pult could even have a chance of Phantom Force. So that might be his play. Or he might just end up Dynamaxing. We're at minus one. He could be policy. He could end up Dynamax and no, we're minus one. And we're coming in hot with an ice shot. Two ice shots to be exact. But the one's just for a speed drop. My plan is once uh, this Zolt goes down, because he's going to definitely target that or the Vanellix. Once one of them goes down, I'm going to bring in my uh, 
like for Blanderous, roll up from there. And just have Liberal Cinderace shown in the back. But there's his Dynamax. He's throwing it out and about. Oh, he does have Fake Out. He does have Fake Out. Totally forgot about that. That's a big part of this play here. He does have Fake Out. So I'm kind of hoping we get off this Icy one. Icy one could be big. But I do have Weather Ball as well. So my Ice ice isn't going anywhere. I need the Icy one off. I'd rather him go after his ult here. Let's see what he does. He does not Fake Out. So Icy one's going to go. He does not Fake Out. What is he doing? He just wants to straight up Flare Blitz. Ice will Crash connects. Yo, Dragapult taking big damage. And we get the slowdown on him. There's the Airstream. He might pick up the double KO here. Let's see. There it goes Vanellix. Nope. Vanellix able to eat. He's going to get a speed boost back here as well. And hopefully the Flare Blitz is going into uh, Dolt. I kind of want Zolt to just be done here. Willow Wisp. He was Wisping. He was Willow Wisping. All right, I'm fine with that. Uh, I, I have to drop another Iso Crash, and I have to go for an Icy Wind. We're both choice Pokemon here. <laughs> so we're just going to roll out with that. See what happens here. Hopefully an Icy Wind takes out this Pult. Let's see what happens here. Airstream. Oh, we outspeeds now, that crazy guy. Takes out my Vanellix all day. And is he going to Willow Wisp here? Is he going to Willow Wisp? I still feel like we pick up the KO. Let's see what he does. He Willow Wisp again. Nope. Iso Crash goes first. And we get rid of you. Okay, so you're gone. He's probably going to Wisp us up now. We get that crit. We get rid of the pull. I'm bringing out my landers. My landers can roll out here. I can roll out. See the play? Flare Blitz. Okay, so he's Flare Blitz this time. You can KO. That's totally fine. Take out. Yep, he's a little squishy, but he did his job, yo. Got rid of his Dynamax. Now we're bringing out two of our strongest Pokemon on the scene. Two crazy strong Pokemon. Our Life Orb Mom with Sheer Force and Cinderace. Bring them out. And he can't go for an Intimidate. He cannot swap out. Which is just wonderful. Which is just wonderful. Oh, baby. Oh, my lord. Bring him out. He's probably like, dude... Dude, I just brought out the two Pokemon that can just dump on a Metagross right now. <laughs> we got Stab Ground with Life Orb, and we have Light Bureau Cinderace. I'm going to end up Dynamaxing you, and I'm going to get uh, take out you, and then I'm just going to Pyro Ball over onto the Metagross slot. That's going to be play. I can see him just canceling. This is rough news for him. Real rough news for him. So what Sheer Force actually does, it's the ability. It gives us a 30% increase of damage, but secondary effects don't come into play. So, for example, Earth Power wouldn't get the, what is it, the special attack drop or whatever stat drop it has. But it gets a 30% increase of damage. But I'm wondering, does that work for Dynamax moves? So, we're going to see this in a second because I actually don't know. So, will we not get the special defense boost from this Max Quake and just get a uh, damage boost? I really don't know. So, we're just going to see right here. Here's Powerball. Powerball might just be able to finish you off. Oh, no. Nope. Brings him down the red. Brings him down the red. Max Quake coming out here. And he is buried. He is eating up a berry. We might still be able to pick up the KO. Let's see. Through the berry. Show it to me, Lando. Tell him to get out of my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Get him going, yo. Berry does nothing for you. And okay, so sheer force does not work throughout this uh throughout this dynamax. Or maybe this that's just not not how it works. It might have to be a secondary effect to the opponent. You guys will know. Let me know in the comment section down below. But there's a oh, a big ice punch. And there's his life orb. Life orb just takes him out. GG's 2-0. We are ripping apart with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for that perfect record. Can we do it, ladies and gentlemen? Looking for back-to-back -back perfect records. Hopefully, we can get it here in battle number three. Going up against a heavy meta team. He's got the Steam Engine Colossal alongside with Urshfu, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Togekiss, and that Dragapult. That Dragapult's obviously rocking the Surf. He might lead that Dragapult and the Colossal, so we gotta watch out for that. Chandelure, I'm sorry, but you're not coming in today's video. You guys already know what he does. He can imprison Trick Room. He can do a little bit of damage, but he's not coming in here. Our team's just rolling out strong. Uh, let me see this Grimmsnarl's uh, moves before we actually pick up my team. We've got Scary Face. We've got Sucker Punch. We have the Fake Out. Okay. I kind of want to go into him. I kind of want to do that. I just want to lead you and go in the Cinderace. Hmm. Let's go Vanellix. Vanellix is choice. What does Jeans want to do here? 
Actually, I think we're fine with this just the squad that we have. I think we're fine with this squad. I'm rocking with it, dude. It's just not giving me like a point to use it. Like I haven't these three battles. It's just been like, dude, these four Pokemon really rock out strong here. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. Even though I'm not using those two in the video, you you guys already know what they do. And I'm glad we're getting to show off this Arthur Zol and this uh, uh Lander. So those are the two Pokemon that I really want to show off on this team, considering I don't show them off too too often. But he goes into Urshfu and Colossal. Which I'm thinking I can just slow down with an Icy Wind and roll from there. Snow warning coming out here. Our choice will make us faster. Oh, he's going to Aqua Jet. That is, a, that is a problem. That is a problem. Um, Let's go for a freeze dry. He is water. Icy Wind could come out here. It's not very effective. But the slowdown is where it's at. Let's go for an Aurora Veil. And just go into a bolt beak. I'm kind of with that. I'm with that turn. Let's see what he does. Aqua Jet coming out here, right? Dynamax, blah, 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 blah. Kind of see it's coming from a mile away. <laughs> but now, now, now looking at it, I don't think that that, that this was this team was to play. Because I thought he was going to go in the Dragon Bolt. That made me not bring my Grimson. Because I wanted to fake out, but I was just like, dude, I can't fake out if he's going to Dynamax Colossal and go into Surf. But he's actually rocking Aqua Jet here, so I could have faked that out and just bolt beaked it down. That could have been a play. That could have been a good play. Steam Engine, he is going to take a decent amount of damage, but he is going to take out one of my Pokemon right here. Hopefully he hits the Vanellix, because we are... S no, we're not Sash. What am I thinking? We're Sash. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Here's Volkleth. Who are you going after? Vanellix, please show me Vanellix. Nope, Zolt. Sorry, Zolt. Zolt's done. He's out for the count. Zolt is done. He is dead. Get him out my face, yeah. <laughs> so he drops down. Here goes our roar bell. That's what I might. I, I have to swap out Benelux now. I have to swap out Benelux. Hmm. Let's see. Like, what, what should I do here? What shall I do? Because I want to bring in landers, but a vocalist is going to take me out. I can't guard and swap. Let's play. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I think I'm just going to guard here. I think I'm just going to guard and swap. Let's go into the swap with the Cinder. And then just... I, we got a max guard here. Or I can't go for this Quake. Because while the Roar Veil's out... Actually, I think I'd rather guard here. Because he might be doubling up into my Landers. He might be doubling up into my landers. Gotta get this Vanellix out of here because he's doing nothing. He's doing nothing just sitting there. Cinder is gonna get the swap in. I don't think he's going for an Aqua Jet or a Rock onto Cinder slot. But I think we're chilling just fine. I think we're chilling just fine with that swap. Because then we have Vanellix coming out in the back end to get Snow out or Hail out again. And then we can Blizzard. We, we go into it in easy free Blizzards. But that's if his back two Pokemon can't really eat it because these front two Pokemon really just dominate us. Well, jeans, I want that perfect record. I want it. But it's not looking good for us. It is not looking good for your boy. We're guarding. We're going to block this Volklith, right? Volklith's got to come into our slot. Or a Flare. That works. We want to go for a Flare. We want to change up that weather. And a close, close combat. Hey, chill on me. Close combat's getting flying through here. This defense is dropped. And he's just going to Aqua Jet onto me. He's just going to do a lovely little Aqua Jet. A jet full of Aquas. The Cinderace, I'm sorry, but... Wait, are we rocking Protect on this thing? We might be, we might not. But oh, we're dead if we Protect. That's the thing. So we might as well go into a move. We might as well go into a move. Or I could bounce. Oh, because we're going to go down the vocal then. We have to go into a move. What a high jump kick into you? We can get that off, and I have to go for this uh, Quake here. I don't mind if he goes for a player. Do not mind if you go for a player, because Vanellix is going to get out here next turn. We're just going to change up the weather and see if we can clutch up. I think this Quake should be able to pick up the KO on this thing. There's the Aqua Jet. Kind of saw that coming, and I think he just flares and uh, sets that up. Let's see if he's going for that flare again. Is he doing it? Does he want the weather change? Yeah, he wants the weather change. So he is going to end up flaring. We should be able to eat, right? Yeah, all day. Okay, so we eat that up. He gets the weather change. We're going to get the special defense boost, but we're just going to change the weather back out. So I'm with that. Hopefully we pick up a nice big KO here. That'd be good for us. 
Let's, see, let's, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. There's KO on the class. All right. Okay. So we get that. We get rid of him. I got. I got to think. We got to bring out Vanellix here. And I have to choice into a move. So it really depends who he brings out. Because I might have to choice in this freeze try just to take out this uh, Earth Spirit here. Because I'm honestly thinking of guarding again. This is tough. This is real tough news here. We do have the Roar Bell, which is helping us out tremendously. I mean, his attack did drop to that close combat, so I'm not really worried about that Urshifu as much as I think I should be. Tokus is coming out here. And the Snow Warning is popping. Is popping. Okay. Let me see something. Let me see something real quick. Say I go into... Let me Wait, let me see his other Pokemon. He could have the pull in the back or the real boom. Pretty sure I might be the play here. Just freeze dry into you. Easy KOs. I could ooze. I can go for a max strike. I think I just blizzard. Blizzard's 100% hitting here. I can just blizzard and ooze. I'm digging it. I'm digging that. Let's see what happens here. Follow me, he's gonna come out here. So the blizzard was the right call, and we're oozing over there anyway. But I wonder why he's doing that. To maybe get off close combat? Here's my blizzard. Can we get a freeze onto the Urshfu? Can we get a freeze onto the Urshfu? Show it to me. Yo, no way. Do not thaw out. Do not thaw out. No way. <laughs> no way. Yo, dude, if this thing doesn't thaw out, I think we win this game. Yo, please tell me. Please tell me this thing doesn't thaw out. Come on. Come on. Fingers crossed. He's frozen solid. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Yo, freeze finally worked. This is like the first time ever. I recorded over 300 Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. And this might be the first freeze that ever worked. But the thing is, here's, here's our one problem now. Our one problem here is... Okay, so Robin's coming out here. He can fake out. Hmm. Don't like that one bit. Okay, our one problem here is... Going to be... He can Aqua Jet and Thaw out. He can fake out Aqua Jet and Thaw out. We are choice with a special attack boost for Vanelk. Vanelk can hit hard. Vanelk should be able to pick up a KO onto the Urshfu. I'm just going to drop a Sludge Bomb. Ooh, I can go for a Weather Ball. Say less. Say less. Weather Ball coming in. Let's see what's happening here. Is he going to Thaw out? Obum uses the fake out. And Kevin Weatherball, he's still frozen. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Sludge Bomb coming through here. We're not Sludge Bomb. Weatherball. This should KO this thing. It's ice now. Sheer force, all that good stuff. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it, baby. That's GG's. That's GG's. Right? Volklet's not out and about, right? Volklet's done. He's done, though. Get a little bit of HP from the terrain. That's GG's. That is GG. Your boy's gonna win because Blizzard cannot miss. Our Roar Rail does wear off, which did help us tremendously. But that swap from the Vanelx, clutching up, and that freeze. And that freeze coming in here. Get this dude out of here. We'll go for a Sludge Bomb. Uh, actually, I'd rather go for an Earth Power. Stab. Better move for us. And he's probably just gonna cancel out. Three turns frozen, man. Three turns frozen. He went for an Aqua Jet. But still, all we needed was one hit on this guy. And we get ourselves that perfect record. What an awesome battle. Get that freeze. Vanelk's clutch up. Perfect record for today's video. I don't know what has gotten into me this past month. We have just been getting winning records and perfect records left and right. We're now sitting at back-to-back -back perfect records. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, definitely go check it out. We use Moxie Gyarados, who I think is an absolute beast on the ranked double ladder. Same thing with some of these Pokemon. We got to show off Arctozol to his fullest potential today. Dominated the battles. Vanelx came up clutch. Cinderace, but we already knew Cinderace was so good. And we got to show off this Landorus in his different form with Sheer Force and his Life Orb. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.